Balancing Act, Sensory Language and Other Writing Elements. Hello, writers and language learners. Today we're going to explore a key aspect of writing, sensory language. Now, sensory language is a powerful tool, but like all things in life, it's all about balance. That's right, we're talking about how to balance sensory language with other writing elements. Let's dive right in. First things first, let's remember what sensory language is. This is language that appeals to our five senses, sight, smell, sound, taste, and touch. Using sensory language in your writing can make your work more vivid and engaging, painting a clear picture in your reader's mind. But remember, while it's a powerful tool, it's not the only tool in your writer's toolbox. Sensory language is a tool that helps us show, not tell in our writing. It brings our descriptions to life, creating a richer experience for our readers. For example, instead of writing, she was sad, we might write, her eyes welled up with tears, her lip trembled, and she looked down to hide the despair on her face. But as with all good things, too much can be overwhelming. It's important to find the right balance. In this section, we will discuss how to balance sensory language with other writing elements. To keep your writing engaging and efficient, you need to find the right mix of sensory language, narrative, dialogue, and action. 1. Narrative. This is where you tell your story. While sensory language can add depth and richness to your narrative, don't forget to move the plot along. 2. Dialogue. Dialogue is key to character development and advancing your plot. It should feel natural, so while some sensory language can help set the scene or express emotion, don't overdo it. 3. Action. Action moves your story forward. Sensory language can make these scenes more vivid, but too much can slow the pace. Remember, your readers want to know what happens next. Now, let's look at some practical tips for balancing sensory language with other writing elements. 1. Less is more. Don't overload your readers with sensory details in every sentence. Instead, sprinkle them throughout your writing to enhance key moments. 2. Vary your sensory details. Don't rely solely on visual imagery. Remember, we have five senses. Use them all to create a more immersive experience. 3. Consider the context. The amount of sensory language you use should match the pace and tone of the scene. For example, in an action-packed scene, too many sensory details might slow down the pace. And there you have it. We've learned that sensory language is a fantastic tool for making our writing more vivid and engaging. But remember, it's all about balance. Too much of a good thing can be overwhelming. So, as you weave sensory language into your work, don't forget to balance it with narrative, dialogue, and action. Happy writing, and we hope this video has been helpful.